Welcome back everybody. Today we're taking a look at the Peace Liner, which is currently faceplant docked down on the Purple Atoll, my current HQ. I've also got Taco S ship, which is docked up in the back there. Uh, the Peace Liner obviously features all of the colors. It's a new detailing um, style which I'm using for this particular uh, ship line. A new build. It's a good idea to just re-change all, uh, all my ideas there. So here we are, new fleet line, which is Peace Liner is the first one, Shroom Slice will be the second one, and then I'm going to refit all my migraine triggers and Hailstorm. The new weapons, effects, planets, logic, pirates, and more are all slated for the uh, new patch. So much more. But like I say, I'm just showing you this quick time lapse of the Purple Atoll. You can see the Peace Liner video if you want to check out the detail. I've also got a new video out on uh, all the new decorative blocks. So yeah, uh, decorative screens, ice crystals set, the uh, full range of colors. We've got metal mesh, grills, um, in both wedges and blocks. The decorative screens come in again in all the colors, so that's going to be really useful. Um, but full information is on the new blocks video I released recently, so check that out. Um, obviously, I really went for it with the color design on this, and. Um, I'm hoping that to be a theme for all my refits, and uh, I can't wait to get them done. So, um, also recently we just completed the lineup marathon where we re where we released 87 lineup reviews. So, 87 ship reviews. We released them all once an hour for the last four or five days. Uh, we've gone back to the normal release schedule now, so you're not going to see uh, you're not going to see uh, that many videos getting uploaded again for a while. But it was part of a big push so that we could focus on the new dev stuff, which is obviously inbound. Now, I can't give you a time on that, because I don't know. I'm just a player like you guys. People are always asking me when I, when the patch will be coming out, and the answer is always soon. However, I can say that the progress on it is really encouraging, and it's going to be so worth the wait. So, when I have information, I'll be able to tell you more. But until then, there's nothing really to say. Of course... The, uh, the, I have been releasing a lot of information on the new dev build, so you should be able to catch that here first. There have been physics engine optimizations for large ships, lasers, cannons, missiles, and more, including the pulse weapon system. It is a master-slave combo system with tertiaries. There are currently eight effects, and if you put the effect blocks on your ship without linking them to a weapon system, they do give a passive bonus to the ship. Uh, one example being the push. If you put a push a push effect system on your ship, you can activate the computer from the hotbar, and it'll give you a push in the direction that you're going, like a takeoff sort of push. A bit like the old uh, Orion engines that we used to make. So that's really nice to see that in the game. Obviously, you've been watching this AI piece liner, and I don't know if you've noticed, but um, it hasn't collided with anything, and it's pretty big. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.